Hey guys, um, I just woke up a few minutes ago and I have to do my Cetratide injection really quick and so I'm going to do that. <clears throat> this is for suppression as in like so your eggs don't release while you're um, doing IVF stimulation making your eggs uh, grow and get bigger. So, I'm going to take this and get the sticker off. Okay. So, <clears throat> they're Cetratide and Ganarillix. Uh, they do um, similar things, pretty much the same thing. They're just different brands. But it comes in a kit like this of the Setcher Tide. And so I'm just gonna open this up. It just slides open. <clears throat> and I'm going to. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna open something behind you. Get alcohol swab. Swab my injection site. I just do the other one too, just because. Hold on one second. Okay, I realized I wasn't wearing my glasses, and I was like, I cannot see. Um. So anyway, I just swabbed the area down, and I'm going to. Take out this powdered mixture, pop the cap off, lay it down in front of me, gonna take this part off, <clears throat> it comes with Two different size needles. The larger one you mix with and the second one you twist on after you mix to inject yourself with. <clears throat> so I'm setting things down in front of me. I can be ready. These are a little tight to open, I guess. See, look at the little one. It's a lot smaller. And I'm just setting it in the tray. <clears throat> and I just twist it on the longer one. What you do now, you get your sutcher tied. Let's see. See how I can see. You stick it in like that, and you just press down on the syringe, and you'll see it start dissolving. And then what I do is I swirl it around, make sure it's completely clear and dissolved. They say not to shake it, just to swirl it. Wow, I really look rough this morning. <laughs> Still see some liquid. I think it looks like I'm doing it faster on camera than I actually am, but don't shake it at all. I'm gonna roll it slowly because there's a little chunk that wants to hang on on the side of the setter tide.
The Setra Tat always usually takes me a minute. It's got some air bubbles in it. That's bubbles on the top. <clears throat> But now I'm going to try to draw it out all at one time and make sure your needle is where the fluid is at. Takes me a couple times. I usually, because there's air pressure in there, I'm not like a pro at it. Okay, so now you can remove this, and if you have a ton of bubbles and flicking it like this don't help, um, you can squirt it up. I'm going to do it over my sink like once to get that pressure out. Sometimes it may even take twice if there's a lot. Um, pressure. So I'm going to put this back in this little container it came in and put it in the sharps container behind me. Now I'm going to screw on this little needle. I'm going to take a, my hair's in my way. Take a chunk of fat. You'd usually do it like an inch, inch and a half past your stomach. I mean, past your belly button. Go over here. And you just do it straight in. Stings. A little. And you just push down on the plunger slowly so you get all of it in and then I just let it sit there for a second pull it out and you can maybe I don't know if you can see that on camera you can see it bleed but I'll just put something like an alcohol prep pad on it and hold it for a second and I'll take this needle cap place it back on top of this and throw it in my sharps container and at my clinic we do these every day at 8 a.m. it used to be 30 minutes earlier each morning but now they're just doing it at 8 a.m. every day so That's it. And you just throw the paper products in the trash and all the needles and vials and the bottles in your sharps container. Thanks for watching. Bye.